A firewall is applied in the Fritz box at the transition from the local network, or LAN, to the Internet. The firewall ensures that only certain data connections can gain access to your LAN, for example, the ones initialized by your web browser. Unwanted attempts to establish a connection, like those caused by automated hacking programs, will be blocked by the internal firewall. For your information, various data packets from different applications are sent and received over their individual connections, the so-called ports. An example is the above-named web browser, as well as email correspondence and file-sharing connections like P2P. You've probably heard of some of the most popular ports or their respective numbers. Port 80 for HTTP or Port 21 for FTP data transfer. Email protocols like POP3 and SMTP have their own ports as well, as do all other network applications. Overall, more than 65,000 ports can be used for a single IP connection. By default, the firewall of the Fritzbox only allows connections into your network that are requested from your network itself. If you would like to open a port for any application permanently, you can enter the number in the list of port forwarding right here. As port forwarding influences the security of your network, this site is available in expert mode only. In addition, it is necessary to have an internet connection configured. Create a new port forwarding and choose either a predefined or other application for which you want to grant access. Suppose you want to arrange a desktop remote control via VNC. Enter an individual name for this connection. Then, enter the port number that you want to be used by the VNC client and server. In this case, it would be the single port 5900. So, you can leave this field empty. Here, you can select the computer in your network to forward the port to. In general, the to port is the same as the from port. So, here you can type in the same port number 5900 as above. Just click Apply to make the remote desktop application available to the computer you selected. By the way, if your computer does not have its own IP address allocated, which is generally the case, you can use a dynamic DNS service to address your Fritzbox over Internet via a freely selectable hostname. <laughs>